this is a, um, a site called Stately in Hartlepool. It's these pictures you see in the thousands and thousands of pieces of broken up asbestos when the site was demolished without a risk assessment being done. It's covered in asbestos sheeting on the roofs, gutter and etc. as it was about 80, 90 year old the site. It's been left like this for 18 months. The pile that you see uh, is hundreds of thousands of tiny little bits of asbestos. It, it covers a huge area and there's probably half a million, maybe more of, of pieces and there's 30, 40 tons of this broken asbestos as you can see it all over the place. There's no fence around it, there's no security guard stopping people getting in. The council uh, have said in an open forum that it's private land, nothing to do with them, they can't do anything about it. Culford who own the land to say they have no money and they're not doing anything about it either. The HSC say on the website that this material is extremely dangerous, should be handled with care, bagged up properly, taken away, disposed of properly, it should be watered down, you name it. The proper way to remove asbestos sheeting, um, whether it's cement asbestos or any other asbestos. The fact is that this is fibres, you can see on some of these photographs, the tiny little fibres. Been like this for 18 months, it's going to be like this over the summer time, getting blown about all over the place. The HSE have told me time and time again that they will not do anything because the site is not in operation, i.e. there's nobody working on there. So it's not their responsibility. So if it's not the HSE's responsibility and not the council's responsibility, then whose responsibility is it? There's two schools within a quarter of a mile, uh, three schools within a quarter of a mile. There's a hospital within half a mile. There's 20,000 people within three quarters of a mile. Uh, there's houses within a few hundred yards. It's blowing about all day long in the weather we've had, and I'm sure it's going to blow about tomorrow. And nobody, but nobody's going to be culpable in years to come with this. They, they, they go to extreme lengths moving a little tiny bit in bagging it up. There's 40 tons of it on this site. 40 tons, at least 40 tons, and it's left there with children playing on it, setting fires to it, you name it. And nobody is responsible. And this is the country we live in. They tell you what's dangerous, but they won't do anything about it. They tell you how it should be done, but they won't make sure it's done. Councils won't take responsibility because the expense is horrendous. I despair that it, a site is left like this in this country with this amount of asbestos, which such a stink is kicked up by a little bag full of it being left. But at the same time, this time the councils are going through a procedure to remove asbestos from a local school, and, and they're getting in experts. So they're getting in experts to move asbestos up there and leaving 40 ton of it on this site unquestioned. It's a disgrace. Um, I, I don't know what else to call. I don't know what else to do to try and get this issue raised. Hopefully it'll go on this uh, on the website. Somebody will pick it up and report it. Maybe it'll give it to the papers. I'm quite willing to speak to them at any time. Councillor John Marshall, Alley Borough Council, somebody needs to do something about it. It is absolutely a serious script. Culpability, when this is all gone in backs of wagons quietly during the night, is going to be nobody. And people might suffer in years to come and have nobody to go to. We need to do something about it. I need some help of somebody to show how bad this is. So please can somebody... Come along to me, give me a ring, contact me somehow and, and let's see if we can get this disgraceful mess cleaned up and make somebody responsible for it and culpable for it. Thank you.